Hi! In this video, we'll show you simple ways of creating infographics all right, uh, in Google Slides. All right, so students, just by using three simple tools in Google Slides, that is, inserting text box and manipulating a text box, inserting images, right, various ways of inserting images including finding images from the web, and inserting special shapes you will be able to create beautiful infographics right, that will impress and show your learning in a very nice impressive and uh, wow okay easy ways for you to remember right so stay tuned and we'll show you step by step okay please make sure to subscribe at the bottom or click the words on top okay to subscribe right let's dive right in first step in the Google Drive, in a folder that you would like to save your uh, new infographic, okay, the Google Slide, right? Open up a new Google Slide, okay, by clicking New, go to Google Slide, great. Alright, you have a new, brand new slide, okay? And for infographic, usually what we would like to have is have it in a particular form that is a, a portrait form, okay? A page layout that is portrait. So in that case, what we will what we'll do is next to change the page layout by clicking File, right, and then go to Page Setup. Over here, the screen, a uh, white screen. Click on the triangle and click Custom. Okay, for CM, click on the left. That is the two one zero. Okay, All right, two one zero. Apply. Alright, you will have a vertical form that is about the A4 size. Alright, so it's easy. Uh, when your infographic is ready, you can just print it out like A4 people. Okay, easy. Alright, so you also do not wish to have any other uh, empty boxes. You want to create everything from scratch. The way to is go to the left, out, outside the page, click on the uh, left button, and then drag to cover all any boxes. Within the, uh, the page, okay. All the boxes will be highlighted, and you just click delete. You'll be gone, and you are ready to create your infographic. Okay, the first thing what we need to have is the title. All right, it is will be very nice if you have actually a title box, okay, to make it more prominent. Okay, so that will be the first two that we'll be looking at, and that is text box. Okay, click on the text box. Okay, you will see a plus sign. Just go right to the corner. Okay. okay, that will cover up the entire space on top. Okay, it's a good title. Alright, let go. So, what you can do is just type the title that you want, and this particular one will be the maturity will be on sports psychology. Coping strategies. Okay. Why is there one? The wording is to be in the center, so I click on this in the center, right? And now I like it to be in the middle, right? So and size to be somewhere around 48 to make it really prominent. Okay. So spots coping strategy is my main title, and uh, make it bold. Spot side is slightly smaller, right? So the emphasis will be on my coping strategy. And in that case, what I want to do is to like I say, okay, make this whole box but more prominent. That is by filling the box with color. And that is with this function fill color. Okay, so maybe really prominent with yellow. Cool. Okay. So in this case, uh, maybe the coping strategy, I mean like to change the color of the the wordings into also something from an maybe red. Okay, uh, so maybe something that is not so uh, glaring and uh, that's what nice. Alright, so then the next thing is to add lots of pictures. So, first of all, we need title, title, title box okay, for infographic. Next is to fill the infographic with lots of pictures. Okay, yeah, 
that is the main gist of picture sticks and consequence. Okay, so that will be the next function, and that is inserting images. Alright, so that is it. We click on this, especially the triangle and line. Okay, of this symbol. Okay, you have made several ways you can actually uh, find pictures or upload pictures into this infographic. But the first thing I will find or show you is search the back. Okay, it's just when search the back. So in this case, um, I would like to have some uh, related items in terms of uh, uh, imagery. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, go setting. Okay. Ah, uh, this is great. Okay, so go setting will be an important thing. As a way for coping with stress, alright. So I'll just make it small. Okay, this is one way. Okay, so I'll um, demonstrate the second way, and that is by uploading it from the web, okay. uh, uploading from the computer, okay, or uploading it from the drive, let's say computer. But you will have to save the file. From the computer. Okay, so in this case, I will have uh, some of the images already saved into the folder. Okay, for this particular video, and, uh, that is it. yes, this will be a good one. Cool. All right, so I'll make this house my center pick. All right, I'll show you. All right, uh, the way to actually uh, crop it into the size that you. That, that is my couple clicking on picture and all the black lines will appear so you just move the cursor onto one of the black lines to see that double arrow just shift it over okay the other side shift it over so that I will only show oh I'm so sorry okay move the cursor over okay sh shifting the line thing. okay so I have the person right in the middle of the picture by clicking outside Done. Okay, so I will have this covering the entire um, infographic as my like gist of my of my infographic. I okay, think that's the basic of the infographic. All right. So I will have I would like my go setting picture to be right on top. Okay. By clicking on the picture first, I click on the picture and then right click. Okay, choose order and bring it to front. Okay, it will appear right in front of the pic. Okay, yeah, so in this case, go setting um, and uh, I'm going to type in to the go setting to create maybe a, a box color. This new setting is actually transparent. Okay, it's just beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we all like to make sure that the goal setting is more visible. So, what I can do is I can actually add on the shape. Okay, click on the shape. Alright, this is something that we like you to learn as well. Click on the shape and you can add anything uh, to surround the box that uh, picture. Or you can ask uh, this in this case, I want to surround the wording to make the wording more prominent. Okay, so I'll put this around the edges. Alright, the little round the text, little shape. Okay, right, it's covering the text. Just nice. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll bring this transparent picture to the front. There you go. The text for who's happening is more prominent now. Okay, yeah. So this is number one. Alright, and then. I can actually add other pictures. And so you can see there's actually a line here you can do. Maybe as a purposeful uh, border. Okay. Yep. Uh, but because I want more space for other things, I like this picture picture to be thinner. Okay. And I can actually add on the, the background to be the same color as the, the picture background. Okay. Which is pretty simple. Right there you can see background here. You click on that. All 
line and you can change the background to black and that will be the same color as my pick. So it looks like a big picture of the person smaller in the middle and this time I can make it even thinner so I can have more space on the both sides okay, on both sides for other pictures. Okay. Okay. Alright, I'll uh, coping strategy one go setting. So I can add on more of other pictures by continuing. I'll be showing you another method and that is click from drive. Alright, what I've done is I already see some pictures in my Google Drive. Yeah, so simply by clicking in picture drive. And there you go. Whatever I just saved would appear right on top today under today under recent. Okay. And so what I'll do is the next item will be uh, imagery. So I'll just drag and pull it over. Okay. And let go. Okay. And there will be great picture here. I can adjust the size to the size of one. Come here, show the picture and make it more synergy. But if you don't want, you can just adjust it. Okay. Alright, there you go. Strategy top image of internal external image of Alright, just now you saw me dragging over the you know, picture. Another way you can actually insert the picture into your slide is just by clicking it. Okay, and then you will appear at the bottom of this panel and you can just click insert and it will appear inside. Slide okay, and this is also something that will be useful for my addition to go set. Okay, and again, I like this go picture to be on top of the most popular thing. Okay, but yet it's not covering it's not covering the wordings yet. Okay, cool, right? So I've demonstrated how to uh, add pictures from web search, from the computer, from the drive. Let's say I would like to demonstrate another time on how to insert a special shape. Okay, in around this this picture here, like a, a thinking a cloud or something, we call it the column. Okay, and this is the item that I want. What I want to do is I want to click in and make the shape around it. Just keep on doing this. You have already learned how to create a title box. Alright, the title will make it more prominent. Inserting pictures, inserting words, inserting shapes, okay, to, to enhance the picture. Right, so you can have it to create the rest of the picture or uh, the infographic to make it more uh, informative with pictures. Okay? Wish you good luck and enjoy creating wonderful infographics on board. I'll see you again and if you really like this, please click subscribe and uh, there will be uh, more videos that we upload and you will be the first to be notified. Be all the best and take care.